Boom, boom, boom. Ah, 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 ah. What's up? It's Big Boss. I just want to tell y'all, um, is it really worth it spending a lot of money on colognes? Or could you still get away with spending $50, $60 on a fragrance? And how do they compare? Let's talk about it. I'm a money magnet. Draped in designer. I stay high fashion. Okay, hear me out. Creed, that cologne is around $300, $400, okay? Now, I promise you guys, think of buying expensive colognes like buying a Gucci bag or buying a Gucci belt or Louis Vuitton clothes, stuff like that. Like, of course, you can buy buy a, buy a white T-shirt from Walmart. You feel me? Like, yeah, you can buy that white that white T-shirt from Walmart. You put it on your on your on your body. Yeah, it, it, it look like a white tee, and it can it, you know what I'm saying? You can do what you want to do in that white tee. But that white tee that you get from Louis Vuitton or that white tee that you get from Saks Fifth, the material gonna feel different. That's just how it is. The quality. You put that white T-shirt in the washing machine, it comes out. All tore up, raggedy. It's just not the same. It's not crispy. But you put that new, that that five hundred dollar T-shirt that you got from Saks Fifth inside the washing machine. You come out, it look like a brand new T-shirt. It lasts longer. That T-shirt you got from the store might only last you like three or four wears, or I should say three or four washes. But that T-shirt you got from Saks Fifth might last you maybe like two, three years. Perfect, clean. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about the quality of what you get. But sometimes. You can get a very nice cologne for a really, really, really low price that still hits like a cologne that's on the expensive side, like this baby right here. Now, you can get a Dior Sauvage, a real small bottle of this, for maybe like $70. But this lasts just as long as a Tom Ford Bitter Peach. You know what I'm saying? So, this right here is $400. So it's kind of like, you know what I mean? but that lasts is just as long as this. And it's fresh, this is a little fruity, so it all depends on what you want. So with that being said, it all, it's all about the quality, about, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's colognes out there that cost a lot of money, but it's not worth the price, okay? You might actually feel that way. So if I was you, when you go into a store, do not and yes, sometimes it's like a flex, right? When they look, you got, they, and some people that know about cologne, they see you got Creed. It's kind of just like showing people you got money. Just like when you got a Louis Vuitton bag and they got all them Louis Vuitton monikers. It just show people like, yeah, look, I got that money. You feel me? But sometimes it's not all about money. Sometimes everybody in the world ain't rich. So if I was you, yes, there are some clones out there that's very, very least expensive than the ones that's more expensive. But understand you might sacrifice quality but that's just what comes with not having enough money like the people that's rich. You kind of just got to deal with it, okay? Yes, the quality of a Lambo is a higher quality of a, of a Honda. But if you can't afford a Honda and all you want to worry about is going to work, that's okay. Just like Cree is a higher quality than a lesser, like a, like an ultra male, if yo ultimate goal is just to smell good the ultra male smells good so you still getting that i want to smell good but it's like yes the quality ain't a lambo quality or a creed quality but you still getting your job done so don't think you gotta break the bank to get colognes it's just like buying a lambo if it's out of your budget you don't have to get it now this is big boss this concludes this video i hope you learned something <laughs> and i'm out man enjoy your day